For every steak, there is a wine. And for every breakfast cereal, there is a guitar pedal. I'm Blake Montgomery. I am Neil Montgomery. And we are the, the Cereal, cereal Brothers. Brothers. For our first tasting, we will be taking a look at the classic Corn Flake. In 1895, Dr. John Kellogg of Michigan deeply desired to create the most bland and unexciting breakfast food ever imagined. His goal was to curb degenerate behavior. Let the tasting commence. I would like to personally thank Sweetwater for providing multiple gallons of the world's greatest sweet milk. I shall pour the milk. Not too much, not too little. And to pair with this great classic, we will be using the Dallas Arbiter Fuzz Face. Because fuzz was the first effect, much like cornflakes, the first breakfast cereal. I actually think Cheerios was the first breakfast cereal. No, it cereal. was cornflakes. I think, no, are you going to do this I'm again? I'm positive. We'll cover that later. Now we prepare the spoons. It would be my honor. Thank you. Mildly earthy. It has a very um, herbaceous bloom. The tangents are wide and vast. Excellent. Bring forth the bowl. This next cereal really commands your attention. <laughs> Captain Crunch. Developed by Quaker Oats in 1963 using an innovative oil covering technique that required a unique baking process, there have been more than over 50 flavors. To pair with this amazing cereal, we will be using the MI Crunchbox Distortion. Let the tasting commence. May I? Yes. Very mature, smooth finish, very aggressive plonk. Not bad for two ninety nine a box. Please bring the bowl. For this next tasting, you don't need luck to taste these charms. <laughs> I've never seen you so on fire with the jokes. Thank you. 
developed by serial scientist John Hollihan for General Mills in 1964. It was the first cereal with marshmallows, as John attempted to combine Cheerios with circus peanuts. That led us here. To pair with this delicacy, we have brought to you the Earthquaker Devices Rainbow Machine. Let the tasting commence. has a very floral bouquet. Extravagant mouthfeel. Mm. It's kind of wanders. Hints of joy, feels of sadness. Mm. Agreed. Bring forth the bowl. Lowering cholesterol across this nation, we have Cheerios. First released to the public May 1st of 1941 and known as Cheerios. Only three years later, the name was changed to Cheerios because Quaker Oats claimed to own the name Oat. No man can own the name Oat, sir. Only God. To pair with this classic, we have the classic Ibanez Tube Screamer. Let the tasting commence. Decadent, earthy, mild, strong, possibly perfect in every way. Bring forth the bowl. For this next tasting, we have Fiber One. Brought to market worldwide by General Mills in 1984, it contains 57% of your daily fiber intake. That's a lot. And to pair with this fine delicacy, the brown source. Let the tasting commence. Dark aroma. It evacuates my senses. Bland yet alive. Bring forth the bowl. Really gotta work to dump this out. This next serving will be a real treat as we snap, crackle, and pop into this box 
of Rice Krispies. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, where do you ever get your sense of humor, dear brother? Step brother. Kellogg's first introduced Rice Krispies in 1928 when Mildred Day, an employee, created it for a girl's bake sale. Hear the snap, crackle, and pop. And to pair with this treat, we have the Zvex SHO Crackle OK. I can hear the gentle snaps as he prepares the pedal. Let the tasting commence. Listen to the crackle. Airy, crisp, dense. Like eating sprites of joy. Bring forth the bowl. Very sticky, such as rice. You too can <laughs> enjoy this next Kellogg's delight. Fruit Loops. Introduced by Kellogg's in 1963, despite clever marketing over the years, Fruit Loops contains no fruit flavoring, and in a startling fact, each individual separately colored loop is in fact the same flavor. To pair with this colorful delicacy, I have the Ditto Looper by TC Electronic. Let the tasting commence. Decadent. A bouquet of flavor exploding paragonally. Asymmetrically brilliant. I simply cannot get enough. Bring forth the bowl. Thank you, servant. Yes, master. In all art, even the art of tasting, there is pain, which brings us to our next pairing, or incomplete pairing. Kaboom! Released in 1969 by General Mills, peaking in popularity through the 1970s and the 1980s, only to be discontinued in the year 2010. It is my personal favorite breakfast cereal. I can remember myself, nine years of age, sitting at a table, enjoying the delicate blossoms of the kabooming flavors that blasted through my soul when I heard the faint whispers of treachery. And that is the day you became my brother. Step brother. Unfortunately, we cannot enjoy the fruits from this box, for it lies empty. It is just the box. He has the box. The scarcity of this cereal leaves us empty inside, but we can bring to you its petal counterpart, the Clon Centaur. The rarest 
of all. And now let us listen to the clan as we grieve the loss of a true vintage. Childhood. I mean vintage. Begin. And now, bring forth the bowl for a ceremonial dumping. Of kaboom. Rest in peace, kaboom. Thank you so much for watching. And as we always say, taste, taste life, life, savor taste. taste. Bring forth the bowl. We have the Zoom 505 multi-effect to pair with our final tasting of the bowl. Within the bowl is every cereal we have tasted. This is the time-aged tradition that we proudly share with you, the viewer. And now, the final taste. Full. Rich. Flavorful. And dynamic. I would like to personally thank Sweetwater for the sweet milk and the wonderful pro audio equipment provided to carry our voices more full, more clear, and more robust from our mouth to your ears. We are the, the Serial Brothers. Brothers. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>